Good morning guys, please excuse me, I literally just woke up and excuse me whispering, I'm at Ben's house and his family's still sleeping, um, but I just wanted to show you that I made my breakfast smoothie, so this is super easy, I have this like every day, all it is is banana ice, chia seeds, almond milk and protein, um, I used the Lux Fitness vanilla one for this one, Lux Fitness is my favourite protein, um, I usually use either the vanilla, the chocolate, or the um, strawberry cheesecake. It's literally insane. That one's probably my favorite. Um, but I do have a discount code for them as well. I'll leave it on the screen if you guys aren't interested in trying out any of their products. Um, but yeah, literally so yum, so easy to make. So I'll see you guys when I get to the gym. <laughs> So for today's video, I wanted to show you guys how I set myself up for like a good week, a healthy week, because I find if I'm not, if I don't meal prep at the beginning of the week, um, I literally eat rubbish all day, <laughs> all day, every day until the weekend again. Um, but yeah, the meals that I'm going to show you today is what I typically would eat like on a weekday. What I eat on the weekend is very different. Um, I mean, I would like to say that I try and eat healthy, but let's just be honest, that's a lie. I eat literally whatever I feel like on the weekend, um, which I probably would not recommend. Like, I mean, if your willpower is stronger than mine, definitely try and stick to more of a healthier, balanced lifestyle on the weekend. Um, but yeah, definitely treat yourself. Nothing wrong with that. Um, maybe just not to the extent that I do. This is, for an example, is just what I would eat on a weekday. I am actually really healthy on the weekdays, which is good. I don't tend to have anything bad. Um, I'll have like a halo top like ice cream and stuff for dessert usually if I feel like something sweet. But yes, yeah, so definitely meal prepping sets you up for a good week, that's for sure. Um, I've been loving working out in the mornings, um, which is not something I ever used to do. I used to be like an afternoon workouter, like a routerer. Is that even a word? I don't know. But yeah, now I literally could not work out in the afternoons. I prefer to get up get it over and done with so yeah that's what I've been doing been doing like five sessions a week which is good and then on the weekends I just relax okay so I just got back from the gym and had a shower and everything like that and I thought I would show you guys what my little after gym snack is it's nothing too big just something to tie me over until lunchtime I started eating it already because <laughs> I haven't vlogged one of these videos in so long so I forgot but it's literally just a piece of sourdough toast with butter Vegemite and avocado sounds weird if you haven't tried it get onto it because it's literally amazing and I'm just about to do a lunch client it's a Monday now um, so I'm going to show you guys how I like set my week up for a, a good healthy on track week um, but yeah I don't usually work on Mondays but I thought I'd squeeze this client in so I'm just gonna do uh, I guess a bit of work and then I will come back on here when I'm meal prepping for the week and show you guys what I'm going to be eating this week. Okay, so I've just finished all the work I need to do and it's about 1.30 I think. It's 1.40 now. So I'm just going to go and make some lunch and do like meal prep and stuff like that. It's probably going to take forever and I'm starving, but that's okay. Um, I'm happy to wait, but yeah, so let's go do some meal prepping. 
Okay, so the first meal that I'm making is um, it's like a healthy chicken schnitzel and fries. So the schnitzel is actually made instead of breadcrumbs, it's using almond meal. So we're going to make that and we're also just going to make yeah, some sweet potato oven baked fries. But yes, so these, all the meals that I'm showing you are from the Tummy Hembra Fitness app. I didn't come up with them myself. But yeah, they're really yum. So I thought I would show you what we're doing. <laughs> Now that we've got the sweet potato peeled, so this is obviously like a full sweet potato. I'm not going to eat the whole thing today. This is for meal prep for the week. Um, I'm just going to cut them into like ugh, skinny like fry sizes. Okay, so now that I've cut them into like chip size, I'm just going to pop them all into a bowl. And we're going to add the seasoning. I'm just going to use a bit of paper towel just to dry them a little bit because the more moisture you get out of them, the quicker they cook in the oven, which is good. And I'm very impatient. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to add a bit of olive oil just so they crispen up. Um, some, this is oregano, so just some like dried herbs. garlic powder and some salt and pepper and then we're just going to mix that all together with our hands and put it onto like a baking tray and then in the oven to cook I don't know exactly how long they take I just kind of cook them until I think they're ready but maybe like 30 -ish minutes maybe I'm not sure perfect so this is what they all look like so they're all covered and then I'm just going to pop them into the oven I've had that preheating on 200 degrees celsius also, sorry about the lighting in here. It keeps changing because it's just natural light. But now we're going to cut up the chicken to make the schnitzel. Um, so I just cut off like all the gross bits. And then I'm just going to cut it up because I don't want to cook like the full breast. Like I'd rather have it in little bits so it cooks quicker. I'm just going to slice it in half like diag. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But slice it like thin, thinly in half. Like you've got like these two bits. <laughs> And then I always give the gross bits to the dogs because they sit over there patiently waiting. Come on. Sit. Sit down. Okay, so now that I've cut the chicken all up, I've just got a couple different bowls. So the first one, you're just going to need an egg and like whisk it up. Um, I don't know why you do this. I think it makes like the breadcrumbs and stuff stick better. But yeah, so we're just going to use, I think you only need one egg. And then in the other bowl, we're just going to use the almond meal. Um, I think you're going to need like a cup. And then we're going to mix in some salt and pepper and some of that garlic powder as well. That's what really gives it like a yummy flavor. Okay, so this is the setup we've got. We've got the egg, the crumbing mixture, the chicken, gross, and then I just have a baking tray to pop it all on. So I'm just gonna dunk it in the egg, pop it in this, and then pop it on the baking tray. Okay, so this is the chicken all crumbed and ready to go. They're kind of like big nuggets in a way. So I used, I haven't told any of the measurements, sorry, I'm really bad with that, but I've used two chicken breasts, so um, like half a chicken breast each should, should get me like four serves, which is good. So I'm just going to pop these in the oven now, and I think they go in for like 20, 25 minutes, but yeah, I'll show you when they're done. Okay, so while that's all in the oven cooking, I'm going to start on the next meal. So that's either going to be lunches or dinners for the week, and then this one's going to be the opposite. So it's like a cheesy Mexican quinoa sort of thing is what it's called on the Tammy Hembra app. Um, you don't need a lot of stuff, which is great. I'll show you what you need. So I just have um, vegetable stock. I got the reduced salt one. Um, quinoa, black beans, an onion, some, I'm just using crushed garlic, cumin, paprika, cheese, obviously. And it did say a red capsicum, which I don't have, but... Um, 
that's okay I'll just add like tomato and lettuce or something in it towards the end to get like some vegetables in as well but I don't think this one's very hard I've made it before and it's actually really delish so yeah I'll show you guys how I make this one too okay so the first thing you need to do is cut up your onion and get your garlic ready and if you have a capsicum cut that up as well because that goes into the pan first oh, sorry um, but yeah, you'll probably see me crying because I cannot cut an onion without crying. So love that for me. I'm just going to wet it first because sometimes I've heard people say if you wet the onion before cutting it, it makes you cry less. I mean, I've tried it and it doesn't always work, but yeah. Okay, so somehow I managed to successfully cut that out without crying, which I'm really happy about because that never happens. Um, so I'm just going to put in like a saucepan a little bit of olive oil, the garlic and the onion and just cook that until it's like translucent. Okay, so now that all the onion and garlic and stuff is softened, I'm just going to add in some of the other ingredients. So it just says to add in the black beans. Oops. Vegetable broth. The cheese. Give that a bit of a stir. That looks disgusting. <laughs> I swear it actually tastes good. And then we're just going to add in the paprika and cumin salt and pepper as well. And now I'm just going to add in the quinoa. I'm cooking up a double batch as well. I did forget to say that. Because um, it only serves three the original amount. And obviously I'm really, I hate cooking. So honestly I'd rather just cook up once for the week and then have it all there. And then we're just going to stir this, turn it up, bring it to the boil and let it simmer and absorb. So I'm just going to steam up some broccoli to eat with the chicken and sweet potato. And they've just come out of the ovens. This is how the chicken should look. So delish. I did swap it, like flip it over halfway through. So 10 minutes on each side is what I did. And then I just have the sweet potato fries over here. So after the um, broccoli cooks, I'm going to eat this up for lunch. Okay, so it's literally taking me like forever to cook this lunch. Time consuming, but that's okay. We've got over there, I don't know if you can see, but the Kim one's bubbling away and I'm just gonna sit down and eat some lunch because it's literally it's three o'clock now and I still haven't eaten lunch, so I'm starving. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. So delish, so yum. Let me know if you try this recipe because it's honestly so good. And I got my boyfriend Ben to try it and he's really fussy with food, especially healthy food. And he loved it. So definitely try it out and let me know what you guys think. So I'm just going to sit here, eat, and watch a YouTube video. I'm trying to make sure that I stay on top of drinking heaps of water as well. I can't remember if I filled this up this morning or not, but yeah, this is like a little bottle and I literally take it around everywhere with me to remind me to drink my water. Perfect. So this is all finished and good to go now. So as you can see, it's like, I'm oh, sorry, it's a bit steamy. It's like that gluggy, thicker sort of consistency now. It's not all liquid, which is good. I'll probably serve mine with like some salads like tomato, lettuce, um, maybe a little bit more cheese on top and I'll probably even put some avocado as well. That would be really nice stirred through. But yeah, super simple and it's so easy to heat up. So that's really good. And it's also really, really yummy. So meal prep like yummy snacks because like I don't know I don't know how those like really healthy people do it like those ones where you see I don't know if they're like lying or whatever but they post on Instagram and YouTube and stuff that they're literally eating like chicken broccoli and rice for lunch they have no sweet treats they eat or maybe like a fruit or something which is like yeah like fruits yum but like if you want something bad, you want something bad, okay? So, yeah, I don't know how those people literally stick to a diet like that. I could never, never. I just could not do that anymore. Um, 
But yeah, so I always make something like that's yum, like my favorite food, but in a healthier version. So this week I'll show you guys later, I'm going to make some healthy banana blueberry muffins, which are delish. Um, I often will make like a healthy um, cookie with like peanut butter and Loving Earth chocolate as the chocolate chips, which is also scrumptiously umptious. Um, but yeah, just find your like favorite healthy recipes and I mean your favorite just find your favorite recipes and try and make like a healthier alternative of them because why not why not i could never just eat that boring food like that would drive me absolutely insane but yeah so it's like 4 30 in the afternoon and i haven't made the cupcakes muffins yet just because i haven't been bothered to be honest and i'm starving still i'm still hungry well, i mean it's been an hour and a half since i ate lunch yeah it's been like an hour and a half since i ate lunch so i mean i feel like it's pretty warranted that i'm hungry um so i'm just gonna have a little snack so i'm just gonna have some strawberries and a mint slice because mint slices are everything no they're not healthy at all but balanced so yeah i'm gonna have that before i have dinner don't mind me, I just had a shower because we just went and did a swim in the ocean. So hence the head towel. I look hella cute right now if I do say so myself. But um, it's like 5.30, nearly 6 o'clock now and I'm ready to go eat dinner because I am starving. Like literally so hungry. So I'm just going to make that cheesy Mexican quinoa that I showed you guys earlier. And then um, I'll show you what I have after dinner as well. Um, but just this is so random and totally not related to health and fitness But I got this in the mail today this like at home IPL device from happy skin co and um, I just used it for the first time after my in my shower I like shaved everywhere and thought I would try it out and I'm actually Impressed so far obviously it'll take a while to see results, but I have had laser in the salon before and um, It does feel like quite similar like the sensation is quite similar just not as intense it's still like quite warm and stingy but um nowhere near as like hurty as the in salon ones but yeah so you do it once a week for 12 weeks and then you just do maintenance ones so yeah i'm really excited to see like how this one goes but i'll keep you guys updated on my instagram so if you're interested to see um like results and stuff with this then definitely follow me on my instagram um and if you want to see a review youtube video and stuff like that after i've used it for a while um then let me know down below in the comments but yeah i thought i would just randomly pop that one in there as well i'm also low-key feeling a little bit sick not like throw up sick like i haven't eaten enough enough food sick which i probably haven't today i feel like i haven't eaten as much as i normally would like i usually would have a muffin and stuff but i still haven't gotten around to making them yet i might make them tomorrow but i'll show you guys the recipe and stuff when i get around to making it but yeah i usually would have a muffin as well so i'm just a bit like famished i'm just feeling a bit hungry i will put you in it if you're not careful i just ate dinner and the rest of the family's having like pasta so i'm having a piece of garlic bread because i love garlic bread all right guys i totally forgot to outro this video and i'm sitting here on a friday night editing it and i realized i didn't say goodbye but this day i also forgot to film that i did have a halo top ice cream for dessert um i mean they're not the healthiest thing that you could eat but they're just like a better sort of option or alternative because they're a little bit lower in calories uh, but my favorite flavor is either salted caramel or the strawberry cheesecake those two are my favorite but yeah anyway back to the outro thank you so much for watching um if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel or give it a thumbs down if that's what you want to do whatever suits again thank you so much for watching and um yeah just let me know down below what you want to see from me but i'll see you in my next one bye